بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته I pray that you all and your families are staying safe and are in the best state of health and faith I would like to congratulate the Muslim community on the spiritual journey they are all about to embark on with the coming of the month of Ramadan. Ramadan is not only a month for fasting, it is also an important time for deep reflection on our spiritual connection with Allah and our connection with the people around us. It is meant to cultivate in us a quality of God consciousness and compassion towards our fellow human beings. Through fasting and avoiding sinful deeds and thoughts during the month of Ramadan, we train ourselves to gain control not only over our actions but also over our thoughts and desires. Imam al-Ghazali, may Allah be pleased with him and have mercy on him, categorizes fasting into three levels. The first level is lay person's fasting which he called Sawmul Awam. And this is the beginner's level and the easiest fasting. It consists of abstaining from food and drink and intimate relation during the days of Ramadan. The second level, the higher level, is professionals fasting, Sawmul Khawas. This is the intermediate level and it is relatively harder than the previous level. It consists of keeping our ears and eyes and tongues and hands and feet free from sin during the days and the nights of Ramadan. And the next level is experts fasting, which he called Sawmu Khawasil Khawas. This is the advanced level and the most difficult fasting. It consists of focusing on nothing but Allah and fasting with our hearts and mind by abstaining from worldly thoughts and concerns during the nights and the days of Ramadan. So let us all try this year to rise above the lay person's fasting and aim at achieving the professional's fasting if not the expert's fasting. Let us also remember that Ramadan, Ramadan forces us to experience hunger so that we can put ourselves in the shoes of those who are in need. So with the coming of Ramadan, let us all race towards goodness and, and compassion towards others. The doors of goodness are numerous, as the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, removing harm from the middle of the road, assisting a person who is in need, maintaining the ties of kinship, checking on family members and friends, even smiling at others is regarded as a good deed and carries the same weight as giving to charity. So let us remember these doors of goodness and compassion during this holy month of Ramadan. Finally, let us be mindful that Ramadan is not only about improving the relationship between Allah, man and Allah. It is also about improving the relationship between human beings and their fellow human beings. So Ramadan Kareem and Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.